We celebrate today the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord be with you. Amen. We call to mind our sins. <coughs> Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You'll come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we pray, O oh God, by whose gift St. Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, grant that by walking in Francis' footsteps, we may follow your Son and through joyful charity come to be united with you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, May I never boast except if the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy to be all who follow this rule, and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, you are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allowed portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You, you are, are my, my inheritance, O oh Lord. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus answered, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you've hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. No one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom he wishes to reveal him. So I say, come to me, all you who are burdened, find life hard, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. I am gentle, meek, humble of heart. You'll find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. So I could be wrong in this assessment, but I think if I did a poll of one million Catholics and I said, who is your favorite saint? 
I think St. Francis of Assisi would win. You could be wrong, but there are so many dimensions of St. Francis of Assisi that are appealing to us. I mean, on a very deep level, as Nini just read for us, having the, the marks of the, the nails in his hands. We call that the stigmata. But the love of, of animals. I bet three quarters of the people sitting in this church right now have a dog or a cat or something that Francis had an affection for. Could it be his care for the whole world? A, a man 2,000 thousand years ahead of his time in terms of taking care of planet Earth. There's just so many dimensions to his life that are of popular attraction that other saints just didn't, didn't have. For me, could it be the soup kitchens that are named after St. Francis, including my beloved home away from home in Philadelphia? All those are great things. But for me, it, it, St. Francis got completely undressed in, in the middle of his town, Sissy. He came from a very wealthy family. And he got completely undressed and said, well, now I'm just going to go out and start begging. Complete reliance on God. How many of us have that? I won't ask for a show of hands. Because no one has it. That God will give me what I need. Instead of relying on Dad. Just go out and beg. And I would think the Franciscans, different types of Franciscans, might be the largest religious community in the church. I could be wrong on that, but they're close. Just God will provide. Take care of the poor and the needy. God, God will take. You know, Francis, it is questionable whether he said, preach the gospel always. Use words if necessary. I'm not sure he said that. If he didn't, he should have. He should have. Our job is just preach the gospel by the way we live. Words get in the way. In Sunday's gospel coming up, Jesus says to the rich man, give it all away, and then you can be my follower. Dude, I don't want to hear that. And he walked away. Complete reliance on God. That's preaching the gospel. Words not needed here. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of the church, that they may sincerely and fully live the message they preach, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, that they would be humbled and offer care for those in need through their policies and decisions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for P.J. Noon, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, give us a, a spirit of wisdom to follow the simplicity and the deep faith of Francis of Assisi. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Amen. 
As we bring you these offerings, Lord, we pray that we may be rightly disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis so ardently embraced. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. With him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So I heard, I heard a cute story the other day that a man went up to heaven and he was very pleased that he had gotten into heaven and St. Peter was showing him around the, the beauty of heaven. And then to his, the man's surprise, he seemed to hear a fracas, like a fist fight going on over here. And he thought there'd be no fist fights in heaven. And he said to St. Peter, what, what's, what's going on? I, I don't think there'd be a fight in heaven. And St. Peter said, to him, well, somebody call Francis a sissy. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O oh Lord, that through these holy gifts which we have received, imitating the charity and zeal of Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.